Hi everyone, welcome back. The teaching for you is whether a triangle is right angled or not right angled, and how can you tell if it is? Over and over again, I walk in, put in the formula, put the numbers in, and over time, a lot of students don't really take it in. So think about this idea here. If I said to you I had a triangle that was eight centimeters for one side, 10 centimeters for another side, and 11 centimeters for the other side, third side, that's the longest one. So we always talk about the longest one, and the longest is called the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse joins the ends of those two lines. So if I look down to here, the hypotenuse joins the end of those two lines. And I go, well, okay, if I had eight ten centimetres and ten centimetres, would it form a right angle triangle? And I can pull out my ruler, and I've done this fairly accurately, and I can measure across there, and they go, oh, it's not 11, it's 13. So if I actually drew in the 11, I drew it there and I looked at my 8, my 10, my 11, it didn't even make it. So it's nowhere near, it's nowhere near forming a right angle triangle. If I go to this one here and I look at my 5, my 12 and again the 13 is the longest which is the hypotenuse and when we use a formula in the moment I call that H. A lot of people call it C but I call it H. Let's have a look what's going on there. I did a 5 with a right angle to a 12. And if it is right angle, if 5, 12, 13 are a right angle triangle, which they are, I made up the question so it would be, across there should be, should be 13, and there it is at 13 across there. So 5, 12 and 13 actually make a right angle triangle. So if I was out in the real world and I needed to get a right angle, and let's say it was on a field, I could use 5 metres and 12 metres and then make sure it's 13 across and they will know that that angle is a right angle and we use right angles everywhere. One more. Now, I have to make the numbers fairly big so that you can see them with the video. So let's see what's happening. 30, 40 and 50. So if I go across there, there was 30 and there was 40 and across there is. Now, if I drew the whole thing in, 30, 40 and 50 centimetres forms a right angle triangle. Now, not everyone wants to go drawing up and figuring out all the things that are going on. So what do we do instead? I'm going to do this one first. Pythagoras, who was a uh, mathematician, lived about 3,000 years ago. He came up with this concept, this mathematics, this formula. And he said if you put the hypotenuse in there where it says H, and then you call one of them A and one of them B, doesn't matter which way you do it, so 8 squared and so 10 squared, and you go, well, I can't know what 11 squared is, that's 121. I know that 8 eights are 64, and I know that 10 tens are 100. And then you look at it and you go, does 121 equal 164? And we talk about the math that they don't equal each other. What does that tell us? Without drawing the diagram, it tells us that it is not a right angle. And I can abbreviate this and just go triangle, and that's acceptable right triangle, not a right angle triangle. So if I go to this one, that's 5, 12, and it was 13 across there, and I go H squared equals A squared plus B squared. Now let's say I didn't have the diagram, all I have are those numbers. Of those three letters, the biggest one is 13, so I put the 13 there, and the other two, it doesn't matter which way, I can go 5 squared. Now by the way, if I go 5 squared plus 12 squared, that's the same as 12 squared plus 5 squared. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. So I know that that's 169, I know that's 25, and I know that's 144. So looking at this group of three numbers, I get 169, 169 equals 169. And that tells me that those numbers are true for that formula, which then tells me it is a right angle triangle. Which is nice, I don't have to draw it up to find out if it is. Now, this one here then, if I did the same, I write the formula down and I went, I don't, if I didn't have the diagram, there's the longest one, so that's the H, that's the hypotenuse. A lot of teachers teach you this C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So if you want to call it C, that's okay, it works exactly the same. So I'd go to 50 squared, because that's the longest. A and B, doesn't matter which way I write it. Now I do know that that's 2,500 and look at the numbers getting pretty big, but I did pick nice ones. 
30 by 30 is 900, 40 by 40 is 1,600, and they get that 2,500 equals 2,500. And they, they say it is right angle. So you can just say is right angle. Or you can go further and say is right angle triangle. So there's our situation. Now let's have a look what's going on here. These two work out to be a right angle triangle. Now we'll talk about the terminology for a moment. They are called Pythagorean triads. Interesting word triads because of the three numbers. So Pythagorean triads, and there are certain ones that are nice that work, but there's not many, not in the small numbers. So if I had a look at this one here, and instead of having going, instead of going 30, 40, 50. Now this one was too a little bit small for me to draw up, that's why I didn't do it. So if I had three, four, and five. That's the biggest, that one's H, so I can put my formula in, and I go, that's five squared equals three squared plus four squared, and what have I got? 25 equals nine plus 16, 25 equals 25. You could say, well, that's true. True meaning that we have a right angle triangle for those, and instead of saying they form a right angle triangle, what do we say? They are a Pythagorean, which is Pythagoras, Pythagorean triad. Or you can simply say, they form the right angle triangle. Oh, it's probably enough on it. And you can put any numbers in you want. You can start looking at other numbers. What would happen for 2, 3, 4? What would happen for 4, 5, 6? What would happen if I went 20, 30, 40? And I times all the numbers by 10. What would happen if I times those numbers? 3, 4, 5. If I double all of them. So I double the 3, I double the 4, and I double the 10. And you can put in the formula and see if it's uh, a Pythagorean triangle. I hope it helps. Uh, remember, if it does help, please press the like button because it makes a difference. It's one of your ways you can support me. And if you really want to support me, um, press subscribe. Thank you.